You look so classy. I need to capture this. Oh, crap. Hold up. Did Jay and Reba get married last weekend? That's impossible. We weren't invited. <gasps> they did. Look at this. Hashtag Jayba wedding. Jayba, you son of a crap. We introduced Jay and Reba. We created Jayba. This is like if Cinderella didn't shout out her fairy godmother for those sick glass kicks. <gasps> Troy Himmelfarb was there? That dude sucks. Didn't he used to beat up Jay in high school? Yeah, and me. Why would he invite a guy who used to punch us in the nuts instead of his fellow nut punchy? Oh, look at this. Thank you to our Lord Jesus Christ for bringing us together. Uh, JC had a little help, you freaking turds. See, the flower girl just dumped the whole basket. Uh, throw as you go, dumbass. I'm just gonna say it. They're dancing way too close for a father-daughter dance. She looks like she's gonna French her dad. Oh, a cupcake tower? That's some Willy Wonka bullshit. And where's the DJ? All I see is a string quartet. I hope your guests had fun dancing to Chopin, you pretentious fucks. I hope they get divorced. I just don't understand why someone wouldn't want us at their wedding. Forget Jayba. We need to set someone else up. Someone who will appreciate us for the impeccable matchmakers that we are. We deserve to be honored with a toast and of lots and lots of people who will clap for us. I'll drink to that. Mm. A lot of cork in there. Hello, single friend. Tired of being alone? Don't answer, you are. We've got the perfect guy for you. He's so cool, he works at a bowling alley. Well, hangs out at one. Now what she lacks in looks or intelligence, she makes up for in being single. He's super low maintenance. I mean, he already has two kids, so he's like way more concerned with them. I don't want to be set up, go fuck yourself. She said the same thing. You guys are soulmates! You're pushing us away, but what you're really pushing away is love. Guys, I'm not interested. I like being single. But think about all the wonderful things you're missing out on. Like, having someone to call your cell phone when you can't find it. Not a great sell, Em. Okay. What if you slip and hit your head in the shower and die? And no one finds your bloated, waterlogged body for weeks until one day when your landlord comes to investigate the mysterious leak in your downstairs neighbor's apartment. And sure, we'd warn you. Months, maybe a year, but let's face it, people have lives. We'd move on. Do you really want to be forgotten? Holy shit. Okay, I think I know where we went wrong. You bringing up her waterlogged body? No, you can't tell people you're setting them up. You have to ambush them. Oh. You know who you would love? Huh. Clint. Clint? As in your ex, Clint? Mm -hmm. Same one. He's so nice. Mm, that's good for boring. Oh, but he's so kind. Boring. Gentle. Boring. He's an old soul. Boring. Okay, but he's like so sweet. Like, he cried so much when I broke up with him and every time I close my eyes, I can still see his pain. You should date him. Don't offload your ex on me just because you feel bad. I am not offloading anyone. Any girl would be lucky to be with Clint. Like one time he took me as a plus one to a friend's wedding and he just kept going on and on about what a beautiful ceremony it was. I mean, a guy who likes weddings? <laughs> I find it really off-putting, but someone's gotta like that. He sounds like someone my mom would set me up with. My mother loved him. Oh my God, my life would be so much easier if I just wanted to fuck him. Is he at least hot? Technically. Yes! It's like, have you ever seen a picture of Brad Pitt's brother, Doug? They look similar, so he should be hot, but there's still just something so Doug about him. Not hot. Kiki, I gotta come clean with you. I invited him here to meet you, and I thought I'd be further along in convincing you. What? You must be Kiki. Hannah told me so much about you. Poor vu. He brought you flowers to a public place. Personally, I find that humiliating and a little regressive, but you know, people like that. It's a tradition for a reason. I'm kind of a romantic. Yeah. Oh, I see why you feel bad for him. I'm not going to date him, but I hope someone does. Right? OK. 
Okay, Clint. Let's see if you have any new messages. You signed me up for a dating app? Let's get him on all the apps. I feel like I'm a part of this now. Put that I like older women. Clint. 50 plus. Help your mother. I can't get the hang of this dating thing I'm a jig. I am not helping my mom pick up dudes. But I've been on it for three days and nobody wants to match with me. It's been four years since your father left, Kyle. It's been hard, but I think I'm finally ready to date again. I've got needs, Kyle. Womanly needs. Gross! Fine. Let me see it. Every time I open the inbox, it's empty. Mom, this is a terrible profile picture. You can't even see your face. You can see I like skiing. No, Mom, you have to, uh... You have to show some skin. Oh, okay. How about that? <laughs> From your cousin's wedding? Yeah. Oh, Mom, your bio. Loving mother of two, one handsome boy, that's you, and one sassy parakeet. I just don't want to read about me or your bird. What about my angel collection? Look at the little butts, they're so cute. Oh, no, write something that makes you sound fun, like you like hiking and traveling. Oh, okay, I got this. Adventurous older woman up for absolutely anything. Mom, no! Ooh, the messages are rolling in now. Look who's Miss Popular. Oh, this guy wants a full body shot. Should I send him the ski picture? That's not what he means. Oh, he sent me a picture of his Peter. New guy! Peter, Peter, Peter. Oh, Kyle, how about him? He is handsome. Mom, he's 20 years younger than you. So your father can go running around with his 24-year-old Pilates instructor, but your mother can't go get herself an L.L. Bean hunk? I'm a hot-blooded woman, Kyle. Passionate. Premenopausal. I mean, I've got five good years of natural lubrication that I don't even need any assistance. I'd like Stop! to make the most of it. Stop! Mom! Okay. Just send him a message. Okay. Mm-hmm. Want to come over? Mom, you can't invite a guy over this late. It's a booty call. Oh, God, you know. My womanly needs, Kyle. I'm gonna go sleep over Craig's house for the whole weekend. Have fun, sweetheart. Now, how do I get the handsome one to send me his pita? Okay, this time we have done our research. They are perfect for each other. They both like Morrissey. Which means they're probably both, yep, vegan. Couple that with their mutual love of documentary filmmaking. And we've got a match. Shh, Sue's coming, act natural. Hi, Hi. Sue, hi. I haven't seen you guys in like forever. I was so glad when you texted. Us too. Oh, look, it's our good friend Katrina <gasps> who just happened to stop by. You invited me here. <laughs> Wait, is, is this, this a setup? Set what? Oh. What? <laughs> but actually, now that you guys mention it, you guys would be perfect. Oh, hey, oh hey, we hey, got hey. runner. Go, go, go. Don't leave, you're perfect for each other. Yeah, we stalked you guys so hard. Also, we already ordered appetizers. This is offensive. Why? Because you just set up the only two lesbians you know. I know it looks that way, but if we all just sit down and enjoy some mozzarella sticks. I don't eat animal products. <laughs> it's too easy. Are you a vegan? Cause like me too. For how long? For like three years, ever since I watched Conspiracy. Yes. <laughs> also, whatever is going on here has nothing to do with you. I'd argue it has everything to do with us. You know, we're kind of pulling the puppet strings here. This has all gone through the system. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you're trying to take credit for the fact that we share the same core values and that I find her extremely good looking? Actually, I find you like insanely attractive. Yeah. That is dumb luck on your part. You know what, let's get out of here. I live nearby. I actually live like a couple of blocks this way. I live a couple blocks that way. <laughs> Okay, that is the perfect amount of distance so we don't feel claustrophobic, mm -hmm. but we also never have to take public transit to see each other. Mm. Also, I'm still mad at both of you. So this has all been like kind of- Again? Oh. This has nothing to do with you. Another perfect match. And zero credit for us. <sighs> well, at least I didn't mention their waterlogged bodies. I don't usually do this, but I was recently reminded of my own mortality, and time is ticking. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? This is crazy. I was about to approach you. Oh. 
but then you approached me and now I'm kind of turned off. So, sorry. Hey. Ew. Disgusting. Did I do something wrong? Yeah. We don't know you, and you talk to us. If you want to meet someone, do it online, creep. So if I download one of your little dating apps, I can hit on you? <laughs> one app. You need apps, plural. Multiple niche dating apps. The hookup scene has been decentralized. If you're going to find someone, you need to hedge your bets. To start, you should download Tinder, Bumble, Fling, Blum, hard to get. That one only matches you with people who pass on you. Two subway stops or a five-minute taxi takes the commute out of dating. Mutual fiend. What's that one? It sets you up with people you have a friend in common with that you both hate. Then you bond by shit-talking that person. Do you have another friend named Hannah? Crush Rush. Oh, so addictive. Do you know how many men I've slept with to unlock another level? Oh, this one's super elite. You pay a monthly premium to date other people who are willing to pay a monthly premium for exclusive access to an elite circle of people who are willing to pay a monthly premium. This one sets you up based on who you think should die next in Game of Thrones. And this one offloads your super sweet but kind of boring ex so you don't have to feel guilty about dumping them. It worked for me. Although now that he's dating, I kind of miss him. What do you think that says about me? This one rates bars and restaurants on a scale of one to five stars. Then you go meet people there. That's Yelp. You're doing what I'm doing. You're going to bars and you're meeting people. It's an app. How do you even fit all this on your phones? External hard drive. Seems like a lot of work. I'll go back and hit on that desperate chick. <sighs> What kind of creep approaches a stranger completely unprompted? <laughs> Should I fuck this guy? He told me I look like his favorite porn star. Hold that thought. I just had a five-star match with a bar down the street. Kiki, that's Yelp. You're going to a bar. Oh, live updates. This app is really invasive. It's open. Clint? Oh boy, look at you. You're like the brawny paper towel man. Oh, these are beautiful. I'll find a vase immediately. I can't believe this. I was so excited we matched, Miss Tagliata. Oh, Loretta's fine. There's no need to be formal. Unless you're supposed to be formal. I've never booty called before. Should I put out snacks? I've got some leftover ham from a wait. Oh, no, thank you. I already ate. And. Sorry for the formality, force a habit. Hmm? You were my sophomore year science teacher? <gasps> you were one of my kids? Oh, God, Loretta, it sounds even worse when you say it like that. Clint Morris? Oh, God, this is so wrong. I am calling your mother. Hey, I haven't been your student in over a decade. And I'm a man now. You got that right, Mr. Paper Towel Lumberjack. Oh, no, Loretta, it is wrong. I had the hugest crush on you. Oh? You used to wear that big pumpkin sweater every Halloween. I remember. I remember. I always wondered what was under those pumpkins. A long sleeve t-shirt with a black cat on it so I could be Halloween-y, even if it got warm. And when you'd bend down to plug in the projector. Go on. Those stirrup pants did not leave much to the imagination. I was still doing Lucille Roberts back then. And you were so passionate. Other teachers would follow lesson plans, but you, you taught us with art and music. Insane in the cellular membrane. Insane in the brain. You remember that? I guess it would be pretty sexy to be someone's Mrs. Robinson. Is that one of your friends? From The Graduate? What's that? Oh, come on, it's a classic, Clint. Uh, you know what, what was I thinking? This was, this was crazy. How about a reference we'll both get? Lord of the Rings, Aragorn, the King of Men, marries an elf 2,000 years his senior, and together they rule Middle-earth. Was she really that old? Her skin was gorgeous. Kiss me, Miss Tagliata. Okay, Clint Morris. Mm. Oh, not in front of the angels. Can I get the chubby angel ale? I got it. Oh, thank you. 
Sorry if this is forward, but are you single? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend would love to set you up with one of our friends. Hello. Creeps. Creeps! Another runner. Who paid for a drink? Look at us. Trying to pick up strangers at a bar like it's the early 2000s. Sue just texted. Apparently Katrina isn't a vegan, but instead a fleegan who's doing a meat-free month. So they're no longer on speaking terms. Ugh, we're garbage matchmakers. Mm. Let's face it, we peaked with... Oh my god! <laughs> Emily and Merv! Hey, you two! Hello, Jaba. Fancy running into you here. <laughs> uh, so, how have you two been? Feeling a little left out, mm. to be honest. A bit underappreciated. Not invited. To the party, as it were. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, how long were the four of us going to be at the same bar before you invited us over? <laughs> <laughs> else going on? Any major life milestones? Promotion at work, birth of a niece, sold your first tell-all. Something feels different, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Okay, okay, we know what you're doing. We didn't invite you to the wedding. Honestly, it was so small. Barely a wedding. Yeah, more of a party at a bar, really. Yeah, that's what I figured when I saw the hashtag wedding to end all weddings geotagged at a country club banquet hall. Fine, it was a huge wedding, right? We're sorry we didn't invite you, but we haven't spoken to you in years. What do you want from us? A toast. <laughs> oh, you can't be serious. Oh, we're serious. We created Jaba. Presumably your entire wedding day transpired full of nostalgic nods and heartfelt speeches for you and everyone who got you there. And not once, not once were our names uttered. We assume we weren't invited so we can't know for sure. You really want us to tell the story of how we met in front of all these people? Yes, and please project because I want everyone to hear. For fuck's no, sake. No, babe, babe, babe. no, come on, let's do it. Come on, let's go. Hey, can I get everybody's attention real quick? We just wanted to say a few words about our friends here. It was New Year's 2015. We were at a mutual friend's party. Murph and Emily had made a drink concoction, something they called Five Loco. It was incredibly strong, sugary, and it ruined the party by getting everyone sick and plastered. But no one was as sick and plastered as Emily, except maybe for Murph who vomited on my new J. Crew sweater. I sympathize with Jay because he was the only other sober person there. We really bonded when Emily vomited into my purse. Turns out being vomited on was one of the many things we had in common, and we spent the rest of the night finding that out, in between spoon feeding Emily and Murph water. Yeah, which they refused to swallow, going so far as to spit it back at us and shout, Flipper. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Flipper doesn't do that. He mm. does. Anyway, what I learned that night was that this man, Jay was kind, patient, and caring. And I saw in Reba compassion for even the worst of humankind. That's really sweet. So thank you to Murph and Emily, who accidentally made us bond over how much we don't like them. Without them, we may not have met. Well, let's be honest, we were at the same party. We probably still would have met. Minus the open bar. That's true, you do still owe us that. Hey, can we get a couple of beers over here? They're tapped.